Item filters aren't that complicated. There's only a couple of mechanics really happening. The first one here is that this torch is locking this hopper. When a hopper is being locked, it means it can't send any items. Normally, it'll take items from a container above it and put it into ones that it's pointed to. In this case, it's pointed down, but you can also point them to the sides. If we lock it, we can see it'll stop pulling items from above and stop putting any in below, with any items that are in there just stuck for the time being. So when you make the filter, you'll see that one item actually gets stuck in here when it gets locked, which isn't too much of a problem. This torch gets unlocked by this repeater, which needs power from this dust, which needs power from the rest of this dust. But the comparator above only gives a signal strength of 2 when it's reading from a hopper with this many items. With 41, 2, 3, 4, 45 items, and it's important to have some filler here so that nothing else will fill into it, you can name it to make sure nothing else goes in, and you'll end up with 41 here. Any fewer than that won't be a problem, because as items go above it, this top hopper isn't actually locked, so it can pull items just fine, and we'll grab this, or any filler if that were to go through, but it shouldn't. Any more than that will bring the signal strength up above, so we unlock the hopper and things get pulled out. It's very important that this hopper is pointed away. It's easiest to just point it at the comparator, so if you have them next to each other, you don't end up pointing them into each other, so that it doesn't send them downwards. Even if you have a bottom hopper that's locked here, if the top one's pointed into it, it'll still be able to send items downwards into it. But we don't want that, we want our filter to stay as it is, so that items don't go anywhere. And it's just as simple as that. We take items and put them up above here, things like redstone torches, we'll just go through the filter here, and completely ignore it, because they won't be able to get in. But if we put redstone dust in here, it'll go over top the filter, and get grabbed by it, because there are items in there, and this is unlocked. As the signal strength goes up, it'll power this repeater, unlocking the bottom hopper so items can flow through. You'll just have to have one left in here, and keep 41 up in there for the filter. If you can't afford that, then you might not need to be filtering it really. Leave your redstone questions in the comments, and help support me on coffee if you can. Join the Discord too to see when streams are. Hopefully I'll get my hacked account back soon. Support has been absolutely no help. Peace.